What's up guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. As you guys probably know, there was a new pack released in the crown shop yesterday called the Freaky Floromancer pack for 2024. Now we have had a Floromancer pack in the past, but I guess this one has been updated with 170 gear and it's the freaky version, I guess. <laughs> so I figured let me go ahead and give you guys the rundown on what you can expect from this pack and let's do a bit of a pack opening as well and see what we are able to get. I did already open three packs from the loyalty store and I was able to get some items. So if you guys do not already know, this pack follows the Hunhao template. So this pack essentially has Crying Sky raid gear included in it. I know right off the bat, this pack is a bit controversial because it does include raid gear and people who do raids feel like they should be rewarded with exclusive gear because raids are really difficult to do. But in my opinion, I feel like everyone should be able to have access access to all items in the game. Nothing should be exclusive for advanced content players. I feel like the casual players should have every right to be able to get this gear as well. So I'm glad that they finally brought the Crying Sky raid gear to a pack because now everyone has access to it. I will say all in all, the biggest takeaways from this pack are number one, the wands are not school specific item cards, which means as you can see, I have the storm wand right here, but it gives me life item cards. So they do not give you the item cards for your exact school, which all in all is a bit of a bummer if you are not into dual schooling. I still have the 160 version because I think I got this one like last year when it was released. But the 170 version of this wand is the Hun Hao wand just with different item cards. And generally speaking, the robes are pretty good for the defensive schools like Life and Ice. The Hun Hao amulets are meta right now, so getting any of the Floromancer and amulets are really really good obviously they will just have different item cards the athames are okay they are essentially just better aeon athames for level 170 the main thing in this pack is that some item cards are just simply better than others and that is really the biggest difference between floromancer and hun hao but let's go ahead and open some of these packs for ourselves and see what we are able to get hopefully we can get pretty lucky okay so we got the balance amulet and we got the death of theme so not too bad once again these amulets are really really good and the athames are all right they are just essentially better aeon athames all right let's go ahead and see if we are able to get anything for storm okay we got the balance wand not too bad i will say for me personally i think that i will be using this pack mainly for stitch gear but there might be some pieces here and there if we are able to get that will be really 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 nice okay so we got the death of fame again i believe but we we're able to get the myth hat so not too bad we got a one day herbal horror and a seven day leafy leviathan not too bad but i really would like to get a perm of the death mount i think that this guy is really really cool so that is what i am hoping for today okay we got the ice boots not too bad not too bad nothing for storm yet though Okay, let's go ahead and clean out my treasure cards real quick. All right, TCs are cleared out. Let's keep on going here. All right, we got the Myth of Fame. Not too bad. It looks like this pack gives you a lot of housing items, so just be warned. Okay, we got the Life Wand. Not too bad. And we got some decks. We got the Fire Deck and we got the Ice Deck. Still nothing for Storm, which I find really, really surprising. Thing. Okay, we got the balance of fame and another one day mount. Nothing too good quite yet. Okay, we got the ice robe. We got the death robe as well and another one day mount. Let's see. Give me something for storm. Oh, that was an absolute horrible pack. Come on, give us something good, please. Okay, we got an ice hat. We got the upgraded 170 wand. Like you saw in the intro, I have have the 160 version of this but now i have the 170 version so not too bad i'm glad we are finally getting some stuff for storm okay i think we got another pair of the ice boots oh my goodness and we got two one day botanical beasts no perm yet unfortunately another life wand oh my lord okay and we got a myth robe i recently just maxed out my myth so i am not 
not too upset with getting myth pieces, but oh my gosh. Okay, we got the storm boots. We got some more one day mounts. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we are going to be able to get a perm here today. Not looking too good. We got the balance rope and we got the death ring. Let's go ahead and open one or two more packs and see if we are able to get anything good. Ooh, okay. We got the floral fiend perm. Not too bad. And we got the death boots. Let me go ahead and look at this mount real quick. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited that we got a perm. Here is the perm mount that we were able to get. Not too bad. I think this one is the pink one. So I am not going to complain. I'm not going to lie. These mounts kind of creep me out, but I am excited that we were able to get a perm. Let's go ahead and open one or two more packs and see what we get. Oh my gosh, that one was really bad. I am not ending on that note. Let's see what did we get here. Okay, we got the balance of theme and the balance boots. Okay, so not too bad overall. We were able to get some items, so I am quite happy. I wish that we were able to get some more storm gear, but that is okay because I do have a good amount of the Hun Hao gear, so I am not complaining. I unfortunately was not able to get any of the pets from this pack opening, but I was able to get one from the loyalty store. I got this one right here, the fly trap, and I believe this is the myth one, and he gives a legendary treant, so not too bad. I will be on the hunt to get all of these. I believe each school got a new fly trap pet, so it's a bit of a bummer that we were not able to get any more, but I will try and hatch to get some more of these. But yeah, guys, what are your thoughts about this new Floramancer pack? Are you pro raid gear coming to the crown shop or are you against it? I would love to know your thoughts in a comment down below. As always, if you guys need a Wiz community to be a part of, join my Discord server. The link for it would be down below and I would love to chat more with you guys. But yeah, guys, that is really going to be it for me. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.